Welcome to this special Hexcom hot wash and after action report. Today we're playing through Mission Void Bard 440 again. We're returning to the meaningless slaughter field where last time we were slaughtered meaninglessly by only taking three team members in. This time we're taking a proper team of five, our maximum of five back to the meaningless slaughter field to see if we can seek revenge and glory and treasure from these grasping zombies and silt runner darters. It was a tough mission. It was tough the first time. It was tough the second time. We did make it. There was some loss. You'll see that here in a second. So let's get into it. We're going to go through this really quickly just to see some lessons learned and what we can do to improve. Again, if you're not familiar with Hexcom, this is a experimental game mode for D&D 4th Edition where we're pitting random characters against random encounters using rules as written. So DMG random encounter rules, character builder random characters, and we want to see what emerges. In particular, we're interested in seeing what kind of stories we get out of this style of play. Seeking some secret third thing between the contemporary 5th edition world and the OSR AD&D world. We have Katixa, Hadwis, Arit, Alboin, and Aston. Standard lineup here on one end of the battlefield. On the other end, we have our zombies and darters in the middle Ancient ruins in a configuration of carnage stones. If you step on one of these stones, you'll be psychically blasted with mental trauma of war and genocide's past. That did not end up being a issue in this run through. It was last time we were able to avoid it. It went eight rounds. We veered off to the side had a confrontation, ended it. You'll see here. All right, round one. We're still getting set up here. We're not even in round one yet. Let's skip ahead a little bit. We're just setting up our corners, logging the corners of the battlefield to the chat just so we can export that. And then we will export all of the token locations as well. Map coordinates, all the locations. All right. Everyone rolls up. All right. Silt Runner Dart is first. So, again, this first round, we're just bringing everyone out, getting in position. All right. So, now, all right. You see, Arit here has jumped ahead. Uh, six, five, six squares. This is, this was a horrible mistake. Um, I thought that Arit would have plenty of cover behind one of these stones. Um, he did, but it turned out to be no match against the blow gun from one of those darters. He was handled easily. Aston runs out. Yeah, you can see uh, Arit is shot here. He has cover. However... Let's see what happens. That's a hit. Yep. And let's see what kind of damage he takes on round one. I, I believe Arit's starting HP was 22. He's a warlock. A bird man warlock. I forget the name of the race. Uh, uh, he's a Kenku warlock. About to get annihilated on the meaningless slaughter field damage normal let's get him <sighs> wrong one <laughs> still learning the interface okay he took 13 damage it's massive he's bloodied bloodied on round one it didn't go any better for him after this. Uh, I'll just say he didn't even get a shot off. 
This poor warlock never even got to Eldritch Blast a single enemy. All right. Skip ahead. Everyone's just moving the line up. We get this line put up closer. All right. We are at the end of round one. Let's go to round two. Now, this is where we veer off to the right here and get the battle started. We need some melee fighters up there, so we're going to send in... We're going to look up some rules real quick. All right, here come the grasping zombies. They are very slow movers. The darters, on the other hand, very quick, as you'll see. All right, so Aston, better get up there. Start swinging, buddy. Fast forwarding through this. Okay, so we've got our two melee fighters up there. Aston and Alboin, they are going to try and handle these zombies. Aston ended up doing uh, something like a cleaving strike against two. Um, both of them ended up this ended up at one hit point at the end of this encounter. So they were hurting. Hadwis was making death saving throws. Obviously, Arit was making death saving throws and failed and died, despite Katixa coming to help. You'll see a little bit of this as we zoom through. Here we're in round three. Grasping zombies moving in. Their slow movingness has bought us a little bit of time, but not much. Here, Arit is making his death saving throws. He loses his first one. Now, that, I believe, is a critical miss. I think that's what that red means there. And so that should have counted as two. Arit should have died earlier, if that's the case. I'll have to go back and look at the logs to see what he actually rolled. I think he did roll a one there. That's why we keep these logs. Uh, if you want to see the logs, they're all on the Discord and the link is in the description. All right, let's zoom ahead, look up more rules. Let's go to round four. All right, we're, we're doing some damage here. You can see, all right, Hadwis is getting hit. Everyone's hurting already. I mean, it's been three, not even a full three rounds. Everyone is bloodied, except for Katixa, who smartly stays back and uses ranged powers. We don't have a team with many range powers. We don't have a cleric. Uh, we're doing random characters. So um, next time, I think we've got a, a cleric or two in reserve, and we will bring, be bringing them in for sure because we need some healing here. Not much healing. Okay. Grasping zombies. Katixa. Let's see what she does. Yeah, we're uh, we're already we're dipping into encounter powers here. We're looking for what are we looking for? Any amount of damage. You can see there's already there's still a silt runner darter and a grasping zombie with full health and a couple other zombies that are right around bloodied. And we ourselves are bloodied. So this is looking grim. We do pull it out at the end. So we're about halfway through this encounter at round starting up around four. All right, so Alboin's gonna get a blow gun in the neck here. Let's see if this hits. It is a hit, not a critical, thank goodness. Damage. Nine. Ouch. Alboin's down to four. So we're yeah, we're going to be using action points and any healing surges we have available. All right, just checking weaponry. Skip ahead. All right, yeah, we're using uh, Second Wind on Aston. Desperately needed Second Wind. All right, 
let's get it into round five. All right, a few more to go. From here on out, it's just uh, a back and forth blows. Uh, it's just a uh, a fight for survival as we trade blows with these zombies. All right, let's get to round six. Um, Arit is already dead at this point. Uh, Katixa ran back and failed a heal in that last round. Let's see if we can find that real quick. Yeah, Katixa is here, runs back, tries to heal, fails. Okay, we're in round, almost end of round six. Let's go to round seven. All right, Alboin comes up. Round seven, we still have a full health darter. <laughs> we're not doing well here. A little bit of healing. I think that was just a correct mistake. I accidentally applied damage. So Katix says full health, so not incredibly scared that we won't get through the encounter, but I don't want to I don't want too much character death here. All right, we got just have to chip away at this runner and that should be it. All right, what do we have going on here? Alboin is hit, he's hurt. Now let's jump ahead. Big, big blow from Aston. 17 hit points. Good job, Barbarian. Now, I did make a mistake in this encounter. Completely my tactical blunder. I forgot to pop Aston's rage. <laughs> he is not raging this entire encounter. That might have helped. In fact, I know it would have. But next time, we'll remember to rage. Classic rookie barbarian mistake for getting to rage. That's been Void Bard 440. Uh, 500 XP split among the living four characters, plus a skill challenge. That's a total of 200 XP each. And it looks like 40 gold, so 10 gold each. Not the greatest reward in the world, but we're on our way to the second encounter. Stay tuned. If you're interested in Hexcom, come join the Discord. It's a solo campaign for me as an experiment, but it's open to other players if it seems interesting. No obligation. Just pop in, look around, leave if you don't like it. Uh, this is Again, this isn't for everyone. This is just a new, different way of playing D&D. &D. Trying new things, pushing on the edges of D&D, &D, all editions to see what works, what doesn't work. Uh, looking for just new modalities. Until next time, Hexcom.